Welcome to an unboxing of Nino Kuni 2, the board game. I'm your host, Jamie, and I'm joined by Bryce Johnston, the lead developer. Hello. And we're going to crack into this right now. So, Bryce, I'll let you do the honours with the Stanley knife. Thank you very much. Be careful not to cut me or the box. I'll do my very best. No promises, though. So, Nino Kuni 2, big, bright box. I love it. I've, uh, I'm going to take my time to make a humble brag. 100% <laughs> completed the game. Platinum on PS4. Very happy with that. Oh, Took me a lovely. long time. Did you? Yeah. Um, yeah, collecting all the villagers and whatnot. So I, when we got the news that this is coming out, I was like over the moon. Yeah, it was a real pleasure to work on actually, yeah. just in terms of like, because a lot of the games that we make have quite a dark kind of color palette and stuff. Yeah, well this one's this one's and bursting this one, it's with just, color. Yeah, it's just look gorgeous getting to use all that kind of bright artwork and really lovely kind of almost chubby designs. Yes, like, yeah. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. So let's put that over there so people yep. can still keep an eye on it. And we've got a uh, rule book. Yep. There. Which is not super, it, it's not a it's, super yeah, I was complex say, game at all. Like it's it's a pretty short rule book. What, 20 pages and, and it's A5. near it, A5. And it's got lots of pictures in it. Yeah, lots of, so lots of really, really lovely really, artwork. Really, really simple. Yeah. Takes about half an hour to play. Ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. For your first few games. Token sheets with all your resources and turn timers and little higgledies yep. on there. Big, big game board. Well, I say big game board, it's not that big at all. It's about <laughs> a size two, two decks of cards, decks of cards yep. including characters, buildings to build, and uh, enemies to fight. Enemies and quests. Um, and quests, yeah. That's the, the main cards in there. Uh, six Nino Kuni dice. Yeah. With the uh, symbol of interdependence, I think it's I called. I think so, yeah. I think, I think that's the term. It's just a very, it's just quite a cool symbol, actually. Like yeah. The kind of flared sun, almost. Like. And, and that's obviously a six on the dice. Baggies yes. for storing all your stuff safely. And then my favourite bit, the miniatures, which I'm going to struggle to get into a clam pack. That's fine, we'll wait. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not like there's cameras on me. Do you want, do you want the Stanley knife? I might need it, you know. It. Do you want it? I've got it. I've got it here. Struggling. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, was open, I was trying to open it incorrectly. Ah. So, can you remember all their names? Yes. Yes, of uh, course. So we have, as we bring them out, Let's we have uh, Evan Tildrum, who is the King of Evermore, which is the kingdom basically that you're trying to build in the game. Uh, we have Bracken Meadows, who yep. is kind of, uh, she's from oh, Hydropolis or Goldpaw. Uh, One of the techie cities. It's, it's neither of them. I've actually forgotten the name off the top of my head. Oh, gosh, I'm that's bad. bad. But she's really cool. Um, and then we've got uh, Tani, who yep. is a sky pirate. Yes. And then my favourite, Roland from yeah, the real world. From our world. From our world. The President of the United States of America. Is that official? I don't, I don't know. know. Official. I but that's, like, that's what it's alluded to yeah, in, the, yeah, yeah. in the opening scenes. Yeah. Um, it's, he's, it's, he's the President of a country anyway. Yes. Yeah. But that's, that's the context of the game. Um, and we've got a playthrough video yes, that you can go it. watch. So uh, make sure you go and watch that. And I, well, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 